Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part three of Let's Play Magical Adventure 3 starring Mickey and Donald. And I take a hit within less than 10 seconds into the video. That's gotta be a record of infamy right there, Bonga. Good job. All right, so we're in stage four. Oh my God, that hitbox. That was a bit deceptive. All right, so we're in stage four and we gotta try to get to the top of an airship. Or rather, we gotta get in an airship. And we got a vertical auto-scrolling level. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Okay, I noticed that when I duck, I can stick my shield out. I never even tried that before. That might actually be very helpful later on. Okay, so I gotta jump from platform to platform. However, I also have to watch out for these enemies right here. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! I can use the, uh, boards as a platform. That's helpful. In case I need to save myself from a missed jump. Hopefully that won't be necessary. Uh-oh. Okay, so I do need these enemies. Otherwise, I can't even get up. Oh, nice of them to leave so many boards for me. It's like they want me to get up here. Alright, well, I guess I'll do that then. How kind of them. You think they just not let me get up here? But yeah, these guys are dumb. Ooh, treasure. Oh. I can't open them. What if I use magic? I'm gonna try something here. Aha! So that's how it works. Oh, and you can even hit the jars too. That's pretty cool, I guess. So that's how you open the treasure chest and get money from jars. Okay, so you have to jump on them twice for them to go away. I just hope I don't run out of magic doing all this. Because I won't run out of money, that's for damn sure. Holy crap. You get so much of it. What the hell? That one actually has a rope. And that's why. I can use that to get up here to get to this block. Oh wow, two one-ups! I didn't think they'd be nice enough to give me two extra lives. Okay, hopefully I can find a deck of cards soon. Wait, this didn't open. Okay, I guess that one's a special case. I thought you could open those. What if I just throw a block at it? Nope, that doesn't work either. Sure, why not? There is a button over here. I guess it'll lead over here, but how do I bring this over? Maybe if I use the rope over here? And just pull this over. Oh, this is gonna be really slow. Can I push this inward? No. And I'll have to keep doing this every time. Until I can put it on the button. I think that's what I gotta do. One more time should do it. There we go. I think it'll open this up. Yeah, see? Now it can get in here. Okay, that's real nice. Bonus game? Eh, sure, I'll play. Um, uh, Try this one. Oh, I lost. Oh, no. I'm already a failure. Oh, my God, I can do this again. 
Okay, that's cool, I guess. The only thing that's not cool is you have to pull the barrel over every time, too. So if I want to redo the bonus stage... Oh, that's gonna be real repetitive. Good thing there's no time limit in this game. Because you'd only be able to do this a couple times, and then you gotta go. Alright, we'll give it one more try. And if I mess up, I might just end up doing this off-screen. Try to get as many rewards as I can. I think that's gonna save me a lot of grief. Uh, number two. Oh, I got an apple! Uh, sure, I'll keep playing. Number three. Uh, more apples. I guess if I quit, I can keep what I get. Uh, number one. Hey, I got money! Alright, why don't you guys give me a few minutes, because I'm going to try to play a nice bit of this for the next little while. Give me a moment. Alright, several minutes later, I played the bonus game a few times and grabbed myself some extra lives. I think that's going to save us a lot of grief. Maybe I could have grabbed some more money, too, but at the end of the day, I don't want to go too overboard. I still got a game to play, so... Uh, oh, wow! That was cheap. Oh, he's got armor. I guess I can use the cannonballs against him. As long as I'm close enough that they'll actually explode right, right next to him. So really what I should be doing is just, like, stay as close as I can, use the shield, and he'll hurt himself. Oh my god! I just gotta make sure he's actually aiming where I can hit him, though. Because I have to duck. But if he aims, like, right over me, I'm probably gonna get hit anyway. See? Not much I can do about that. Is this close enough? Oh. Yeah, he can still, like, aim over me, but he won't hit me, at least. Oh, God, he's, he still hit me! And if I'm too far, the cannonballs are going to explode before they hit him. That's a bit of a tedious way to fight a boss. This would have been better if I can actually use the shield while I'm moving. But sadly, that's not how it works. Oh god! The handballs hit me and I didn't block. So I got the worst of both worlds. How many more hits do I need to actually beat him? If I could just propel the cannonballs with my fist, that would make things a little bit better. So I had to rely on RNG almost. For him to even aim the cannonballs where I can hit him. And sometimes that'll happen, so I'm hit either way. Oh my god, this is... This has got to be the worst boss by far. Worst mid-boss. That I have to rely on... Oh, well, that was my fault. I have to rely on getting the right angles, and I STILL died! STILL! This is terrible! They should have designed this a little bit better. That I only have one way of hitting this boss. And what if I don't even get the cannonballs to go where they're supposed to? So there might be a long period of time before I can even damage this guy. Okay, finally, he's downed. Lost three lives! And this is why I had to go in the bonus stage several times. The game forces you to do that, and it's... in a weird way. Too bad none of those hearts are big enough to give me more health. Like, more max health, I mean to say. 
Well, I guess I'm on my own. Oh, well, that was dumb. That was my bad. Weird that it does that. What if I just hit this guy with magic? Nothing happens. Wait, maybe I can climb this. Nope. Uh, what? Maybe I can climb this. There we go. That's what I'm supposed to do. Got hearts, and that's it. So maybe I gotta climb all the way to the top, and I can get to the right. Let me try that. Hopefully the actual boss of this level is less annoying than the mid-boss. Oh my god, I still, still got hit by that guy. He was just sticking around the whole time. That is just frustrating. And that was cannonballs are moving way too fast. <laughs> oh man, everything's just going wrong in this one stage. Maybe I didn't get enough lives in the bonus. And I made off with several. Could that somehow still not be enough? I think the boss is coming up. Oh, let me guess. I can grab onto these? Where is it? Oh. Oh, when it shoots, like, it's just coming at you full force. Oh, I guess I can just duck. What? What the hell are you doing? Okay, well, that was not much I gotta do about that. Oh my god, he does a little bounce, too. Okay, I could just block these. Up! Oh, damn it. He's distributing the weight. I'm on my last life already? How did I lose that many lives in one level? I made up with a whole bunch of lives and I nearly lost them all. How am I this bad? <laughs> oh, I couldn't even sh punch him in midair. Well, at least he's nearly dead. Oh, God, his hitbox. Okay, we got him. But at what cost? I grinded a whole bunch of lives in that bonus section, and I wound up finishing the level with fewer lives than when I got in there. Yeah, that's trash! <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. That was utter trash of me. What are you even doing with these totals? Like, seriously, I can't even take the money with me. Mickey's fight with the captain caused the airship to crash towards the sea. It's a load-bearing boss. So Mickey jumped off the airship and landed in the ocean, because somehow that's better. Will Mickey now be able to find King Pete before it's too late? Hope you can evolve some gills, Mickey, because you're going in the water. Shell Ocean. If you're running out of air, swim into the large bubbles to breathe. Oh, right, I guess we're going, uh, doing this. Oxygen management. It's like, oh no! Okay, th these bubbles don't go away. So I can just keep using them. Oh, well, you do keep your money. Why did I think you couldn't keep the money? Oh, damn it. Oh god, your air runs out real fast. Wait. Oh, that's right, you can't, uh... You can't even float with this. Oh yeah, your air runs out so fast. Holy crap. Oh. Oh god. 
Oh, it's lagging. Oh, but I made it. Oh! Pfft. Huh! Apparently if you take damage, suddenly you breathe. It's like, oh man, I was running out of air! I couldn't breathe for like five seconds. And then I took damage. Suddenly air materialized in my lungs. Because that's how it works. Video game land, everyone! <laughs> like, can I go on any of these shells? No, they're just actual platforms. There's a door over here. I guess I can go in and see what's inside. Oh, it's another bonus stage! Okay, one thing I noticed... Oh my god, I got a peep right away. That even if you grab a Pete after getting a whole bunch of items, you still get to keep them. So it's not like, oh, you grab Pete, you just lost everything you won in the bonus stage. Sucks to be you, I guess. Alright, we got ourselves an extra life. And it's good, because I wasted so many earlier. I still don't even know these apples. If you get a whole bunch of them, you get an extra life and stuff. Like, I don't even know. Goofy just gives you less coins. So I've noticed there's a Pluto that gives you fruit. Donald gives you a nice chunk of money. Goofy gives you a little bit of money. Mickey gives you an extra life. And Pete gives you a GTFO. But take all that stuff with you! It's like he's trying to poison you. Oh, you suck! So yeah? Well, at least I can come back in here anytime. Alright, give me a moment. I need to get my lives back. Alright, around 10 to 15 minutes later, we finally picked up enough lives that we should be able to be okay. Also, for anybody wondering, how the hell I have five hearts now? Well, remember when I was talking about, like, what you get in the bonus stage? There was one thing I did not know was there until a few tries later. That Minnie shows up, too. And if you get her, you get a big heart. Like, you know, those jars? And if you get four of those jars, your health bar increases. I did not know that until now. It even saved the one I had before. Like, you know, the one I got in a shop? Like, it retained that. So yeah, you can buy them in shops, and you can earn them in bonus stages, and that is how you can increase your health easily. Right, I guess I'm going down here or something. Oh man. Oh, thank god. <laughs> I can actually get out of the water. Oh no, crabs. I went on this venture to avoid getting crabs in my life. I suppose I should increase my health. There we go. So next time I see a shop, I bet you I can buy a ton of things this way. I could probably buy all the upgrades I need. Or I, at the very least, I could probably get more jars of hearts. God knows what the apples are going to do later. <laughs> That was cool, I guess. Well, maybe I should be the armor next time I find more of these crabs. Okay, I don't want to smash all of this. But I just want to get up there. There we go. Ah! Wow. Still got in the crab's hitbox for some reason. Alright, I see how it is. Here, get out of here. You're not welcome. Oh, hold on, there's a... There's a door over there. I don't know how I'm supposed to reach that. Maybe I could just, like, climb up higher and then drop? Yeah, maybe I gotta do that from above. Because it seems I'm still going upward. So let's just keep on going. 
Oh, there we go. Come on, get up there. Get out of there, Mr. Krabs. You're not welcome. When did you get a green shell? There. Get out of my way. I don't like that sometimes the momentum gets, makes you go forward really fast or sometimes really slow. Oh, hello. Let's see what's in here. Nice! A free health upgrade! Like right then and there. Oh, that's gonna be so much better for a good chunk of the game. Now I won't have to worry about dying so fast. I'll still die fast, just not as fast. <laughs> Let's be completely honest with ourselves. Like, I'm probably not gonna be going through stages without dying once. That's the reality of it all. Oh! Okay, so 9 is max. Well, I guess it's 10. It probably counts to 0. Oh, whoops. Nice. Okay, I guess whenever I switch sides and then jump is when my momentum goes real quick. I think that's what it is. Alright, so I understand it a little bit better, for the most part. Alright, go back in the water. Uh-oh. Music stopped! Wait, there's no mid-boss? Come on. Let me ch oh. Alright, so don't stay on this on the actual like edge of the map. Just watch out for the tentacles, keep yourself moving, and wow. Somehow that counted as a hit! Alright, game, we'll play by your rules. So you gotta wait for this uh kraken to keep showing up. When it's about to emerge, jump right away. And then slam into its head. And it's got a big head, too. Yes, I absolutely love bosses that I have to wait before I can actually attack them. Isn't that fun? Like, it has, like, so many periods in which it cannot be hurt. And I only get one shot to hit it. Man, some video games really love to do that a lot. Oh, I should have just tried for a fully charged punch. That probably would have done way more damage. I thought I was just going to emerge just by my feet. Okay, you were nowhere near me at that time. See, because if I do get hit, it gets away right at the very moment I'm recovered. Like, maybe I do have to rely on bouncing on its head. Okay, I was- I was thinking my input would just drop, and I was like, oh no. You're gonna make me miss my chance. Oh, that time it actually came back. How kind of you. I didn't think you would. Alright, come on over. Okay, it's gonna emerge again. Huh, that head is so springy. That's gotta be a lot of fluid in there. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's changed into an octillery now. I don't know if its attack pattern changes. I haven't noticed anything different. It's more or less the same. It's just telling me that, oh, it's nearly dead now. That's it. Come on over. I'd say maybe one or two more hits and you're done. Okay, just one. 
That's even better. Yeah! Actually didn't lose a life this time! Fade to black. <laughs> Okay, that stage went a hell of a lot better than the previous one. Yeah, I had lots of apples. Yeah, lots of money too. Mickey spotted some islands across the ocean. They were the North Isles, home to King Pete. But to reach King Pete's castle, Mickey must cross these snow-covered peaks. Unless he sees a castle, how would Mickey even know that King Pete's in that specific castle? Like, this is his first visit here! Snowflake Mountain. It's easy to slip on the snow-covered road, so watch your step! Okay... I uh, guess I'll just climb this random mountain. Okay, I guess that confirms that King Pete does live here. What the hell? What the hell is that? So when I walk, I'm actually getting more height? Because I'm taking a bunch of snow with me. I guess I can use that to get up to higher places like that, see? Alright, let me see what I can do to bust this up. There we go. <laughs> More apples I'm probably not gonna need. Let me switch back to the armor, because I bet you I can't even jump on these things. They may look delicate, but they're also pointy. Plus, they are larger than normal. That tells you that it's dangerous. Ooh, what's up here? Could it be a shop? I hope it's a shop! Cause my wallet's feeling a bit heavy. No, it's a bonus game again! <sighs> wow. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Jeez, why would I even bother with the bonus stage to get more money if I can just do that? The big block just keeps coming back. Okay, none of these are hard, so I can't just stack my health again. Alright, we'll give it one more try, and then I'm just gonna move on. Yay, apples! Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's a Pete. Okay, that I do mind. Alright, we'll, we'll just let it go. I probably get a better payout at- well, Oh, I, I forgot the snowflake was still there. My bad. That's what I get for not paying attention. Well, that was a nice heart. Too bad you can't get that. <laughs> oh boy, of course they're gonna put slopes there. And if you fall, you die. Oh. Jeez. Sometimes the snow under your feet can really throw you off. Alright, well, there's the castle. We just gotta get over there. That shouldn't be too hard. We somehow go this one specific path needed to get there. Because that's how video games work. Nice of the enemies to freeze in place while I'm changing. They value my privacy. Oh, I wasn't holding up. Oops. Oh, hello. Is this a shop? Oh my god, it actually is a shop! Okay, so I'm gonna buy this. And this. You know what? I'll buy the armor upgrade. So now it takes a little bit less time to charge up. Watch. See that recovery time? It's much faster now. And you know what? We'll buy the, uh, magic suit upgrade, too. And I think it'll take less time. Or I'll actually have my magic use cut in half when I throw cards. 
That's gonna make things a godsend. This is why I stacked up so much cash. Oh, these guys throw snowballs. Wait, how do they burrow under the snow when there's very little underneath? Game logic. Oh, pfft. I didn't, didn't, didn't even see that. Okay, there we go. Sure, we'll do it like this. I don't care. So really, the only thing I've left to buy is probably like uh, those hearts in a jar. And I could get some more health upgrades that way. Because who knows if I'll need them later. Yeah, look how close I am to the castle. Okay, I'll just walk away from it. Okay. Somehow they'll take me closer. I think a boss is coming up. Like, it's just a flat plane? Yeah, that's suspicious. Oh, God! It's a freaking Yeti! Well, at least I can keep punching it. And while it's swinging really fast, somehow I can avoid the... the, uh... Ball and chain. What? How did you avoid damage there? Okay, so when he does that, he can pretty much track where you're going. Most of the time. I guess I can lure it to a different direction so that I can avoid damage every time. There we go. Eh, that was an easy boss. Helps when you buy the night upgrade. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're on the way to Pete's castle. Let's celebrate in this arbitrary spot! Yeah! Mickey finally reached King Pete's castle. Surely Pete must be hiding in here somewhere? But will Mickey be strong enough to take on King Pete and his minions? Ooh. The plot thickens. <laughs> Alright, King Pete's palace. Be careful, the castle is full of traps. It is the final level after all. That'd be pretty weird if it was basic. Oh yeah, there's our first trap. An enemy walking towards you as soon as you start the level. <laughs> Alright, so let's stop it here. And then the next part, which will also be the last part, we go through King Pete's Palace. Goodbye everyone. Thanks for watching.